In this video, we'll talk about multiple risks associated with power. We'll also talk about the calculations used when selecting uninterruptible power supplies and batteries. Then we'll finally discuss what I like to do and utilize uh, as far as my backup and power supply solutions in my work at home office. So one of the things that's most important in your home office, your entertainment center, your everything that has electronics is having nice, clean, conditioned power. There are multiple risks that range from brownouts where the power dips below the specified voltage. Then you can have blackouts where it totally goes out or you can even have the most dangerous where it oversurges that will really kill equipment. Now, I have a few UPSs or uninterruptible power supplies in front of me. I have an APC. This is a 450, and I would use something like this for my desktop to power it. Then I have something like this. This is an AC, an APC 700. Uh, this would be something that I would put on my entertainment center. As I said, I put everything on a battery backup system. This is a much larger box. This is a 1500 cyber power box and this is something that I would use on like a gaming PC or something where you're connecting a small server or something like that. And then finally we have this mini ups. I would use this on edge devices where you may have a camera attached or you may have a mini router attached. Something like that you would use this small APC like this. Uh, the other thing you could do, I've even done this, if you have something like a wall box where you have a switch inside of a wall where you're running wiring through uh, your uh, organization, you can actually take these apart. There's essentially just a circuit board and a battery and you can put that inside the box, uh, mount it up with some zip ties or some other uh, form of fastener to attach that up. Now. I don't want to go too far in depth on the calculations. Keep this video short. The calculations simply are if you have a APC which is typically measured in volt amps. You'll see the VA on there. Like this one is the 1500 volt amps. You've got 450 on this one. And then your equipment is typically rated in watts. So taking your volt amps and simply multiplying it by 60 will give you sort of a good range for your wattage equivalent because typically you want to run these UPSs at about 50 to 70 which is about 60 percent of capacity so I would put you know no more than a 900 watt load on this 1500 again multiplying 1500 by the 60 percent to get that amount uh, the other formula that I want to also go over really quick and not be too complex is the amount of time that the battery will run your equipment depends on the actual batteries. Inside of this there is typically something of this size. Uh, they'll typically have I guess two batteries that'll be in here, 12 volt batteries. Uh, they're typically the lead acid batteries. You can go pick these up at somewhere like a Batteries Plus. That's one of the popular places to go and pick up batteries since they are uh, easy to find. Uh, the double unit, sometimes they'll gang them together. Uh, this is probably a single and this is probably a larger single uh, battery in here. Now the calculations for the battery can be found in detail here in the main article on the website. Under calculations, we provided the ideal volt amps for wattage, watt hours, amp hours, and even an example, if you were to require a 400 watt desktop to run for two hours. So take a look at the website there for additional information. There we provide everything you need to access the site, updates for the site, and all our relevant social links. That's essentially the quick rundown of the power. Again, 
the most important aspect or component of your electronic equipment that you utilize for working from home. Uh, but it is definitely not the most exciting. So I wanted to keep this video short and that's pretty much it. We'll wrap that up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the uh, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, suggestion for more topics or even feedback. I definitely love the feedback. I enjoy talking about anything tech. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more content from Work From Home Tech.